Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India students today we discuss one of the important topic of corporate law in corporation of companies i am dr jaswan saini and working as a associate professor in faculty of law md university rohtak when we discuss this in corporation of company we discuss the various aspect of the same and we start with the learning outcomes first of all it's our pious duty to develop our understanding what we learn about this lecture and what is the output of this lecture first of all understanding develop from this lecture the legal framework or gain knowledge of the legal framework governing the formation of companies in india either formation of companies and essential or can we run a company without the incorporation of a company so these legal points we discuss later on second learning outcome is here learn about different type of companies including private limited company public limited company producer company and one person company third outcome of this discussion explore the essential steps and requirements before incorporating a company and fourth one is to develop the understanding about step to step processes of companies in corporation including document submission registration fees and obtaining a certificate of incorporation when we obtain the certificate of incorporation that amounts to conclusive evidence once certificate issued by registrar of companies that is known as answer of all questions after this certificate of incorporation no one raise any question on the functioning of company either company how establish or what's the formalities they fulfill these things become immaterial once a certificate issued by registrar of companies that's the answer of all questions and we start with definition of company a company is a legal entity created under the law often for the purpose of conducting business activities but in business activities all companies doing business activities some of the companies allowed as per companies act 2013 to deals with some other activities also we discuss later on about those type of companies how they establish and what type of functions they perform second it is an organizational that is distinct from its owner it is a organization which is distinct from its owners owners here means shareholders you may be say members and can own property company own their property on their own name company enter into contracts on their own name company sue and be sued on its own name companies can take various forms including private limited companies public limited companies and partnership limited liability partnership each with its own characteristics and legal requirements when company obtain the certificate of incorporation company become the juristic person means person in the eyes of law and when company become a person in the eyes of law it means lot of characteristics available to the company companies play a crucial role in the modern times and they facilitate commerce investment and wealth creation and they are governed by some specific laws and regulation each type of company is governed by some specific provisions and for this particular purpose exhaustive 
Companies Act 2013 available to deal such type of companies. What is the meaning of incorporation? When we discuss incorporation is the legal process. You try to understand incorporation is the legal process and this process basically for create a new entity and that is recognized a separate legal entity. This word is the very, very, very important and develop our understanding about separate from whom. Company when obtain the certificate of incorporation, company becomes separate from members, separate from directors, company becomes separate from alls and there is a basic idea behind this working of a company. Company when obtain the certificate of incorporation, company become person in itself. Company become person in the itself means in the eyes of law, company itself treated as person. It involves registering the company with the appropriate government authority. Appropriate government authority indicate that we need to be obtain the certificate from ROC. Registrar of companies is the appropriate authority who issue the certificate and defining the structure and providing it with legal status. So legal status of company start immediately when company obtain the certificate of incorporation means incorporation is the essential part for start a company. Incorp importance of incorporation a company limited liability shareholders liability is limited to their investment and their protect this right basically protect for their personal assets. Limited liability indicates that you are liable to pay your unpaid share part. Liability is limited this is the entire phenomena. The entire phenomena of incorporation of company based on this liability is limited. And how much limited? We know liability is limited up to unpaid share part. If you pay full amount against your payment, against your holdings, against your shares, it means there is no any liability of the members. The liability only arise if you pay unpaid, some part of your share holdings are unpaid, your liability is up to that extent. So, limited liability is the important concept. In the earlier stage when the civilization start, we are start with the barter system and nowadays in 21st century when we are running with the different type of companies, here this protection is a essential protection to protect the investors, to protect their personal assets, their liability only up to investment part and legal recognition of the company provide its a distinct legal identity. Distinct legal identity means everyone know from their name, companies also know from their name and in the eyes of law, if we declare any institution as a person that is very helpful for the government also, government run with the revenues and that is the main target of the government to declare every institution as a person. If we declare the person, they are comes under the purview of revenue structure, they comes under the purview of tax regimes. So, company here declare a separate legal person, a different legal entity and company is treated as juristic person. Juristic person here means person in the eyes of law. If company treated as person, it means he is liable to pay some taxes under the revenue laws. Access to capital easier, very easier access to funding through equity or debt financing. In this type of business, company structure of company law or company structures basically designed for some specific purpose, money easily available to those who are deals in this business. Business continuity, 
बिजनेस हेयर गवर्न बाय वन बेसिक रूल इज परपीचुअल एग्जिस्टेंस परपीचुअल एग्जिस्टेंस इंडिकेट दैट पर्सन मे कम और आउट देर इज नो एनी इफेक्ट ऑन द वर्किंग ऑफ द कंपनी बिकॉज कंपनी सर्वाइव एज इट इज दे कंपनी आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ ए शेयर होल्डर द कंपनी होल्डिंग ट्रांसफर टू देयर लीगल हेयर कंपनी रिमेन एज इट इज एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ कंपनी नो एनी इफेक्ट विद द पर्सन पर्सन कम्स और आउट कंपनी रिमेन एज इट इज अनअफेक्टेड बाय चेंजेस इन ऑनरशिप टूडे मे बी ए इज अ ऑनर टूमारो मे बी बी इज एन ऑनर डे आफ्टर टूमारो मे बी सी विल बी ऑनर बट देर इज नो एनी इफेक्ट ऑन द वर्किंग ऑफ द कंपनी कंपनी रिमेन एज इट इज कंपनी गवर्न बाय देयर शेयर कैपिटल देयर बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स और अदर एस्पेक्ट्स Creditability of the company enhances trust and credibility with the customers. Due to one reason, reason is that there is a separation of ownership and management. Owners are generally not manage the functioning of company. The company managed by board of directors, and board of directors generally are not the owner of the company. So this particular. aspect particular concept enhance the trust among the customers or you may be say investors partners investor customers you may be say anything they indicate one thing that's they are the holder holder of some equity shareholders growth opportunity in the particular concept of companies much higher in case of business when we enter into the comparison with sole tradership partnership firm the more and more chances or emphasis given to the companies companies play very important role in the growth of entire world growth opportunity facilitates expansion and enhancement of business operations relates with the companies and if we start a huge capacity business or if we start a business we are required a huge capital no doubt we required the concept of company or we required to establish a company and company when we establish we start with the incorporation of a company so various type of companies and the incorporation of companies process is different and every company deals with separate type of rules and regulation regarding incorporation so there are some categories of the company and one of them is public limited company second private limited company and third one is special type of companies we use word special type of companies due to one reason here these type of companies not establish for business purposes these type of companies only establish for some charity purpose or some advancements of social utility and another type of companies here producer company this type of companies newly introduced after 2000 so producer companies basically deals in the primary produce which relates to agriculture basically those who deals in agriculture sector and they produce something in their part they may be sell at their own level for this particular purpose government provide an opportunity to these sectors they establish the company with the name of producer company and one another type of companies here one person company this is the latest trend we introduce in the market one person also start a company otherwise in the earlier days one person start with a sole proprietorship sole tradership and after that partnership firm concept introduce after that the company concept introduce so one person company here for some specific purpose to provide the facility to those who are not ready to work with others so types of companies when we discuss in detail so particularly three type of companies here one is company limited by shares and in our indian scenario majority of the companies here limited by shares and secondly 
company limited by guarantee guarantee means at the time of winding up or at the time of call company may ask to contribute up to some limited extent which you undertake this undertaking basically known as guarantee so company limited by share means for example here you buy 1000 share of any company and value of each share is 10 rupees and if you pay 10,000 rupees in one instance, there is no any liability on your part. Question arise, if you pay 5 rupees against each share. So, it means you pay here 5,000 rupees pay paid by you and 5,000 rupees remaining. So, your liability is only up to your unpaid share part. Company limited by share means first of all you are liable up to that extent for whom you apply for buying a shares and second is here you are only up to liable up to unpaid share part. If you pay the entire amount of 10,000 rupees so it means your liability comes to an end. Your liability only up to unpaid share part. So you remember your liability is only up to unpaid share part. If you pay the entire amount as required from your side to pay, it means your liability comes to an end. And third type of companies here, company with unlimited liability. Unlimited liability, it means the liability of the members up to unlimited extent. Your liability here limited up to unpaid share part but here your liability is here up to unlimited extent. How much unlimited? As claimed by the complainant. So we discuss now public limited companies and private limited company how many persons we required. Minimum 7 subscribers required to incorporate a public limited company. Subscribers here indicate that how many minimum persons you required to incorporate a company. Minimum we required 7 persons to introduce, to establish, to start a public limited company. And how much minimum paid up capitals we required to start a business as a public limited company. So, before 2015 the minimum capital required 5 lakh rupees but after introduce this amendment 2005 15 minimum paid up capital limit obsolete nowadays there is no any minimum limit applicable on the public limited companies to start their business and director limit here minimum three directors we require to establish a board of directors later part we discuss board of directors working for the company for the benefit of company on the behalf of members we discuss later on but at this moment we only consider here to constitute a board of directors in case of public limited company we required minimum three directors and these three directors constitute the board of director and private limited company how establish or what's the requirement to establish a private limited company minimum two directors required to constitute a board of directors here also board of directors play very important role in the functioning of company and without board of directors we not run any company as we know there are the two human agents one is known as members and another is known as board of directors these two human agents basically responsible for the functioning of company members decide the policies member decide the policies and board of directors implement implement these policies for the benefit of company in the light of policies decided by member so board of directors are the such persons who act on the behalf of company as policies decided by members in the agm so minimum paid up capital here again <coughs> we highlight here in 2015 central government obsolete this limit of minimum paid up capital which required before this deletion 1 lakh rupees minimum capital re required to start a private limited company but nowadays there is no any limit as per 2015 amendments 
here minimum two members members or you may be say subscriber subscriber and members both are the same for our discussion point of view and mode of incorporating a company that's defined in section 3 of the companies act 2013 what's the mode seven or more persons for a public limited company two or more persons for a private limited company one person for a one person company and if a company not established or not obtain the certificate of incorporation that's known as association for any other purpose but company when we establish or start the functioning of company or incorporate a company this company is known as association for lawful purpose being a student of law you remember this thing we not allowed to be incorporate a company or establish any business for any unlawful purpose our all activities must be in the direction of lawful purpose if our activity towards unlawful purpose we commit a wrong and this type of wrongs may be checked by law through their legal system subscribing their name to the memorandum of association how much minimum numbers required they sign on each and every document and they are known as subscriber subscriber is nothing subscriber means those minimum number of persons who agree to establish a association with a limited liability it means those known as subscriber subscribing their name to the memorandum of association or article of association they are known as members they are known as subscriber they are known as shareholders but before incorporation they are known as subscriber with or without limited liability so companies are allowed to be incorporate with limited liability or without limited liability that's totally discretion of the association totally discretion of the persons who ready to incorporate a company who ready to establish a company so before apply for registration registration basically not an appropriate word here registration word we attach with the partnership firm with the companies we use word incorporation but as a ordinary par uh, parallels or in a ordinary sense we generally majority of the cases use word company registration so you not confuse about the same registration and incorporation generally both are same and registration is a general word which touch our ordinary parallels so memorandum of association as defined in section 4 of the companies act 2013 that's a very very important document and this document is treated as constitution of the company and this is also treated as charter of the company and how much importance of this document you just from the same if a, if a company enter into any contract against the clauses of memorandum of association that type of agreements treated as null and void they are ultra virus beyond their powers so majority of the jurist in the favor that memorandum of association contain five clauses but some jurist also in the favor that there are six or seven clauses and we discuss later on in the chapter of memorandum of association how we draft what's the formalities we need to be fulfill before apply for registration of memorandum of association but majority 99% jurist in the favor that memorandum of association contain five clauses and very first is here name name of the company name of the company is the very very important aspect here you just imagine if there is a person and there is no any name of the person it means name basically the symbol of existence and without name <clears throat> when a person not survive not uh, working in the civilization not uh, properly work in the society 
the same system is applicable with the companies without the name of company there is no any meaning of the company and along with this name clearly mentioned limited liability company or public limited company which type of companies or unlimited liability company name clearly mentioned and second clause is here registered office clause registered office means <clears throat> one office designated as registered office <clears throat> of the company if company have more than one office this registered office we require to maintain the communication with the company and without this registered office it's impossible to maintain the communication with the company so registered office is also play an essential role in case of memorandum of association third object of the company before 1960 we incorporate with one object but after 1960 we are allowed to be incorporate with the three different type of objects one is known as main object second incidental object third other objects why we required these type of objects here because due to some government policies or some to uh, or due to some developments if it is not possible on the part of company they run with their main object then they allow to be shift their business in ancillary objects in other objects company remain survive as it is and in the meantime company shift their business from main object to ancillary object and fourth here liability liability basically means liability of members how much liability unpaid share part if company is limited liability then up to unpaid share part if company is limited by guarantee it means you need to be pay this guaranteed amount at the time of call or at the time of winding up whichever is earlier at that time you need to be pay this amount fifth clause is known as capital clause in this competitive era and in this business scenario you just imagine we not survive any business without capital capital is an essential part of the business and majority of the cases company has register uh, incorporate with the capital but in some cases companies are also allowed to be incorporate without capital so capital clause basically indicate that entire structure of capital which hold by company capital clause is the only clause which changes or you may be say altered with simple regulation otherwise in the rest of the clauses here we required in case of name we required the special in case of registered office we required the special in case of object we required the special regulation in case of liability we required the special special clause uh, special regulations special regulations very important for rest of the purpose memorandum of association of the companies which deals by section 4 of the companies act 2013 that's clearly defined rest of the clauses except capital clause we altered or changed with special regulation only and only capital clause we altered or changed with the simple regulation rest name clause we changed with the special regulation registered office clause we changed with the special regulation object clause we changed with the special regulation liability clause we changed with the special regulation but only capital clause only allowed to be changed with the simple regulation form which type of forms applicable with the memorandum of association if the association not interested to draft their memorandum of association then this facility provided by companies act 2013 in schedule 1 if you adopt form number a table a b c d e these five tables for different type of companies if they are not ready to prepare their own memorandum of association 
they may be adopt this model memorandum of association fill up the name of company that's treated as their own memorandum of association and memorandum of association must be printing and sign memorandum of association should be divided into paragraphs and numbering should be there paragraphs and numbering that's the requirement of law memorandum of association should be signed by the subscriber i already explain here subscriber means number of person minimum number of persons who sign on every document before submission for incorporation they are known as subscriber and once a company incorporate they become the member before incorporation they are subscriber and after incorporation they become the member and along with their name address and occupation should be mentioned against their number of shares which they agree to buy after incorporation so their entire detail should be witnessed by at least one witness one witness should be attest their own signature and their detail i after that article of association is the second important document which we required as per section 5 of the companies act 2013 and this article of association contains the those clauses which are essential to regulate the internal functioning of the company it contains the regulation for management of the company in case of private company limited by share conditions specified in section 31b clause 1 sub clause b specified what type of conditions there in case of company liability by guarantee number of members should be mentioned in section 5 article of association the article of a company shall be in respective form specified a b c d e these tables relates to memorandum of association table f table g table h table i table z of schedule 1 deals with the article of association model form provided here behind the act and if any association not ready to prepare their own then they adopt this one that's equivalent equivalent to they drafted company may also adopt all or any of the regulations contained in the model article applicable to such companies regulation of member article of association should not be inconsistent with any provision of the company act very very clear policy here every article of association should regard the memorandum of association and memorandum of association should regard the company act so every document need to be gave harmonized relation maintain their harmonized relation with their upper document and here memorandum of association article of association and company act they are the important document you need to be you need to be draft itself or you may be adopt which provided in the form of schedules in the companies act so requirement for incorporation section 7 define these are the requirements you develop your prescribed form fill up your prescribed form and submit with the registrar and registrar those who are related with your jurisdiction jurisdiction play very important role here if you want to establish a company in haryana and if you submit your documents to the registrar of company who situated or working in the west bengal that's not allowed jurisdiction basically where you want to start your company where jurisdiction lie so you need to be submit your all documents along with fee to the concerned registrar of companies and after, along with this prescribed form 
of incorporation memorandum of association and article of association these documents also essential along with your application form and signature of subscriber subscriber i already explained before you minimum number of members we required and they sign on each and every document and their entire detail we required name address occupation and in return their presence should be ensured by at least one witness witness should attest the signature of subscriber signature of subscriber also witness by witness certified by witness approved by witness and the address and occupation they are automatically here approved in case of subscriber signing in different language we required the affidavit affidavit furnished by this particular person that prove the signing in the presence of this one and the signs are original signs and there is no any problem with the signs and no proxy can represent the original subscriber documentation for foreign promoters if promoters relates to foreign country then different documents required one of them is any document who establish the visit of this foreign promoter visit must establish and particularly if we talking about the law visit always establish by your passport and visa and documentary evidence here related with the same you must attach along with this application form which you need to be submit to the registrar of companies for obtain the certificate of incorporation statutory declaration by two advocates or chartered accountant cost accountant regarding compliance compliance prove that all necessary formalities fulfill by the company by the association all necessary requirements if fulfill they make a statutory declaration and after this statutory declaration we presume that entire documents are completed and now you registrar of companies apply their judicial mind and issue the certificate if he satisfy along with this documents declaration by subscriber and first director regarding compliance first directors are such persons who arrange by promoters to run the business of companies and they are also certified that necessary compliance should be made here and the declaration about the conviction fraud or breach of duty in the preceding 5 year any subscriber or the director who sign on these documents they should be not convicted by any court under fraud or breach of duty or in any other proceedings correct and complete information in filed documents should be there address for correspondence until the registered office is established filing the memorandum of association and article of association along with copy of agreement if any entered for appointment of managing director certified copy of board of directors resolution in case of company is subscriber company is also become the member in another company so if the company is subscriber then resolution we required for the same the resolution should specify the name of proposed new company company only establish after obtain the certificate of incorporation before obtain the certificate of incorporation company is known as proposed company name of authorized representative who act on the name of company or you may be say who act for the proposed company number of shares subscribed and also journal power to make corrections modification in the incorporation document of companies it means we required here some human person human being who is responsible to fulfill these formalities in case of foreign promoter the company board resolution 
resolution is a important thing either the relates to indian either relates to foreign promoter or the company and their memorandum of memorandum of association and article of association should be notarized by the foreign notary this is an essential requirement here you fulfill these uh, requirement here after that the satisfaction of registrar of company is required particular of first directors basically directors we required their written consent can minor become a director this question comes in your mind but i clear one thing here minor due to this reason not allowed to become a director in any company because their consent is no consent in the eyes of law and din number this is a new concept introduced by central government any person who wants to act as a director in any company they need to be first obtain the din number director identification number and this portal introduced by central government in 2006 to collect the all data regarding directors in first director also in other firms and body corporate if they are already acted as a director or the partner or the members they must clarify here consent to act as director in proposed company consent differentiate here the person is a major not a minor because consent differentiate here consent of minor is no consent in the eyes of law registration by registrar and issue the certificate of incorporation along with corporate identity number every company nowadays with a corporate identity number knows consequences of false or incorrect information the promoters and first directors or subscribers all are liable up to that extent the legal provisions are applicable on them but you are supposed to be provide every information is a correct information if information is false or incorrect it means you commit a wrong and you will be liable under section 447 of the companies act 2013 and who are liable i already clear promoters are liable first directors are liable and person making declaration they all are liable and how much liability the liability provided in section 447 beauty of this companies act 2013 here section 447 deals with all such type of penalties which not mention anywhere if any act is not uh, treated as an offence or not defined as an offence then penalty deals by section 447 tribunals authority in case of fraudulent incorporation by chance if due to any reason certificate of incorporation issue by the registrar of company but later on that found fraudulent incorporation the tribunal authorities here issue direction to regulate the management of company in public interest public interest is the highest degree to check either you act properly or not you are doing uh, properly or not you are acts in rightful directions or not so public interest is the equation before us to check your acts are in rightful direction or not direct that members liability to be unlimited tribunals may pass such type of order liability you no doubt incorporate with limited liability but tribunal may pass the order as an unlimited liability company removal of company from members register it means registrar of company if issue the certificate tribunal may check the further proceeding on any complaint or sue motto we discuss later on how the tribunals accept the complaints or entertain the complaints regarding incorporation but these are the basic orders may pass by the tribunal and order of winding up tribunal may pass order of winding up of the company 
which already obtained the certificate of incorporation it means this type of winding up is compulsory winding up with the order of tribunal you wind up your business but you remember one thing here three principles are known as principle of natural justice and these principle basically above than law and every institution every tribunal every court need to be follow this principle and one of them is opportunity of hearing it means you not take any decision without hearing heard before any action being a administrator being a tribunal being a quasi judicial authority when you take action against anyone you are supposed to be follow the principle of natural justice tribunal shall follow the principle of natural justice and these three principles are no one be judge in his own cause opportunity of hearing and reasonable opportunity of hearing section 8 companies are special type of companies these companies establish for charitable purpose and not establish for business purpose and act clearly define here these companies for promoting art science commerce sports education research social welfare rel religion activities charity and other similar objects it means any new objects which relates with the same those all objects are the sufficient to establish a company special company which refer in section 8 companies establish under this section 8 they are not allowed to be distribute their profit among the members the basic restriction is applicable here such companies not distribute profit among the members if they distribute the profits they uh, perform the business functions that's not allowed they are allowed for some charitable purpose or some social purpose so these companies are known as special companies along with name of the company may not may not include the words limited or private limited they must end with the foundation generally we found foundation association society club organization institute or other similar terms and some examples here of section 8 companies Infosys Foundation that is section 8 companies Reliance Foundation Tata Foundation Reliance Research Institute Fiki Pratham Education Foundation India International Trade Center these are the companies which established under section 8 and these companies are special type of companies before incorporating in section 8 companies promoters must obtain the license from the center government you remember center government specifically issue the license under this section to special establish such type of companies once a license issue by center government under section 8 that may be revoked any time procedure for section 8 companies name first approved then draft memorandum of association and article of association approved by regional director along with the roc ministry of corporate affairs appoint the regional directors the regional directors working under the supervision of registrar of companies and they are also responsible working with the registrar of companies seven regional directors in india supervising the working of registrar of companies they are helping hand or sometimes they are check the functioning of roc so they are complementary and supplementary of each other approval of license by regional director and filing of memorandum of association and article of association and license copy to be filed with the registrar certificate issue by central government you need to be submit to the roc about the same requirement for incorporation of a company if the company intended to be incorporate as limited liability company a statement specifying the following particulars should be there normal share capital number of shares number of shares taken and amount paid on each shares addition of the word limited or private limited as last word 
in case of company limited by guarantee a copy of resolution declaring the amount of guarantee so emphasize here i one point here declaring the amount of guarantee this is an essential part here how much undertaking you take here to contribute at the time of call or at the time of winding up that's declaration should be there that's prove your company is a company limited by guarantee in case of non joint stock companies before incorporation the memorandum of association should be executed by a minimum 7 members having the characteristics of joint stock companies the following documents are to be delivered to registrar list showing the name address and occupation these things we required at every level of either on the subscriber level either on the director level it means who manages name the in the list not being more than 6 days before the date of filing were members of the company with addition of share held by them deed of settlement deed of partnership or other instrument regulating the company in case of company limited by guarantee a copy of resolution declaring the amount of guarantee should be there registration of producer company producer company with 10 or more persons incorporate main object specified in memorandum of association liability of members limited by shares on registration become a body corporate as if a private company producer company in any circumstances not become or deemed to become a public limited company there are the some formalities which required on the part of producer company main object in must be mentioned in the memorandum of association and rest of the things are same as applicable in other type of companies after that one person company defined in section 262 one person company is the latest mode of start a business here and this one person company also name with the unique name must be name of the opc must be unique and not identical or similar any existing with company or trademark word one person company must be included in the name if a company start with the one person both the members and nominee must be a natural person that's a very clear requirement or basic requirement to start must have a registered office as usual which we required in other companies comply the requirement of roc registration on other businesses forms and incorporation of companies spice plus form introduced by central government this known as simplified performa for incorporating company electronically plus this form basically solution of all type of problems related to the incorporation ministry of corporate affairs introduce this perform on 23 february 2020 that's notified the incorporation of company and incidental registration by this perform this divided into part two parts a part and b part a part basically relates to the name of the company and b part relates to the rest of the details you mention in this spice plus perform spice plus part b regarding all details din number 10 number mandatory e e pf4 registration mandatory issue of esic these are the requirements we required as an essential part before apply for incorporation after these documents you need to be certified the same with the digital signature certificate digital signature certificate issued by the certifying authority and this is a part of mca 21 scheme mca 21 portal introduced by ministry of corporate affairs to simplify all the process of incorporation of the companies or deals with the 
rest of the things with the companies request number generated for making payment or other things the all things are now available on online system these are the fee structure if a company authorized share capital is 1 lakh rupees how much fee need to be submit along with this prescribed form 660 rupees if 100 crore rupees is the share capital of any company you need to be this amount of money as a registration fee as a incorporation fee with the government so company incorporation the national single window approval system on 23rd october 2023 ministry of corporate affairs has integrated this national single window system for the incorporation companies and limited liability partnerships this initiate is a good initiate on the part of central government and government has been bringing various regulatory services under a single platform for ease of doing business and now we are uh, on this part of summarize this entire discussion a company is a legal entity created under the law for the purpose of conducting business activities incorporation of a company is essential for legal recognition limited liability and structural growth in business endeavors private limited public limited one person company and limited liability partnership in india follow a systematic process involving name approval documentation filing with the registrar of companies and the issuance of the certificate of incorporation as laid down under the companies act 2013 nowadays for improving the ease of doing business in india various initiatives like national single window system for the incorporation companies and nlps are introduced by central government for create a atmosphere familiar atmosphere or good atmosphere for the entrepreneurs thank you swayam prabha digital india educated india Hello and welcome to this piece of literary snippet. We usually know William Shakespeare as the most revered figure in the history of English literature. But we often tend to forget that he has also been one of the most hated figures in literature. And here I am not talking only about those boys and girls who have to memorize uh, long sections from Macbeth or King Lear or Julius Caesar uh, before they can go and sit for their school and or college exams, but I am also talking about people who are themselves quite famous authors. Tolstoy, for instance, considered the writings of Shakespeare to be, and I quote, crude. immoral vulgar and senseless george bernard shaw absolutely loathed shakespeare as he did homer but perhaps no other criticism about shakespeare is more damaging than the one which says that shakespeare is a marvelous storyteller provided someone has told him the story earlier now this piece of criticism is particularly damaging because it is true none of shakespeare's plays contain any original story whatsoever they are all written using pre-existing materials pre-existing stories now does that diminish the stature of Shakespeare as a dramatist well i'll leave that for you to decide see you in the next episode of literary snippets <laughs>